In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. In your charity, please pray for Ruth and Rosa as she celebrates her 95th birthday, that the Lord may grant her health of mind and body and the fullness of life. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray a look of compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Joel. Priests put on sackcloth and lament, ministers of the altar wear. Come pass the night in sackcloth, you ministers of my God. For the house of our God has been deprived of oblation and libation. Order of hearts, proclaim a solemn assembly. Elders call together all the inhabitants of the country to the house of the Lord your God. Cry out to the Lord, O God, the day, for the day of the Lord is near. It comes as a devastation from Shaddai. Sound the trumpet in Zion. Give the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the country tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near. Day of darkness and gloom. Day of cloud and blackness, like the dawn that spreads across the mountains of vast and mighty hosts, such as has never been before, such as will never be again to the remotest ages. The Word of the Lord. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will recount all your wonders. I will rejoice in you and be glad, and sing psalms to your name, O Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You have checked the nations, destroyed the wicked. You have wiped out their name forever and ever. The nations have fallen in the pit which they made. Their feet caught in the snare they laid. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits in throne forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He will judge the world with justice. He will judge the peoples with his truth. The Lord will judge the world with justice. Alleluia, alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had cast out the devil, some of the people said, It is through Beelzebub, the prince of devils, that he cast out devils. Others asked Jesus as a test for a sign from heaven. But knowing what they were thinking, he said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is heading for ruin and a household divided against itself collapses. So too with Satan. If he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Since you assert that it is through Beelzebub that I cast out devils. Now it is through Beelzebub that I cast out devils, through whom do your own experts cast them out. 
Let them be your judges then. But if it is through the finger of God that I cast out devils, then know that the kingdom of God has overtaken you. So long as a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he is attacks and defeats him, the stronger man takes away all weapons he relied on and shares out his spoil. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, it wanders through waterless country looking for a place to rest. And not finding one, it says, I will go back to the home I came from. But on arrival, finding it swept and tidy, it then goes off and brings seven other spirits more wicked than itself. And they go in and set up house there, so that the man ends up by being worse than it was before. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of error. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gave you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints will declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble grant petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you personally for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant to peace, to God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Vincent and our Bishop, and all those who hold you to the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. 
Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise or the offering for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious Heavenly Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysostomus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting love. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count on the flock of those who have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving him thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and confess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask of Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, that all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, and those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. And mid us we beseech you with their company, not weighing our merit of granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the world is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the blessing of Almighty God, 
the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you in the name of you forever. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail the Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with favor upon thy people who cry to thee, and through the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of blessed Joseph, her spouse, thy blessed apostles Peter and Paul and all the saints, do thou mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners and for the freedom and exaltation of Holy Mother Church, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us.